When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. And when I go out, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. And when I come home, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's coming home to you. And when I'm dreaming, well I know I'm gonna dream, I'm gonna dream about the time when I'm Oh my God, Daddy, you so good. But I'll walk 500 miles, and I'll walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at you. When I'm working, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's working hard for you. And when the money comes in for the work I do, I pass along every cent. And when I'm lonely, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's lonely without you. And if I grow, And I would walk 500 more Just to be the man who walked a thousand miles To fall down at your door And I would walk 500 miles And I would walk 500 more Just to be the man who walked a thousand miles all down at your door. Kelsey, <laughs> I love that you know my smart ass responses before no, I say I them. Know. I promise to always laugh with you when we look at each other and just know what one another is thinking. I love your love of animals, bugs not included. I promise to always be there to kill spiders for you in the middle of the night. I love your passion for helping those who are underprivileged and otherwise can't help themselves. I promise to always stand by your side and support you in these endeavors. I love that you balance me when I make hasty decisions and help me consider more than just my point of view. I promise to always listen and take your op opinion into account. <laughs> I love your crafting addiction <laughs> and your ability to think creatively and outside of the box. I promise to always display and admire your creations. I love your ability to procrastinate anything. <laughs> I, pr I promise to always be there to help you get back on track. I love that I can be myself around you no matter what. I promise to be the man you see today, tomorrow, and forever. I love that I'm enough for you as I am. I promise to always be faithful and put you before all else. I promise th that I only have one office quote in my vows, so I'll just conclude by saying, Kelsey, you complete me. Dunk. I struggled writing my vows. It isn't that I have enough to say, because we all know that I have plenty to say. <laughs> but I was at a loss for how to say all that you mean to me. I love everything about you. I love that you're an open-minded, upstanding, and moral man. I love that you're a realist, but that you're oddly optimistic at times. I mean, you are a lifelong Lions fan. There's a bit of an optimist in you. <laughs> I love that you get things done. I wake up on the weekend and you've already walked the dog, gone to the store, mowed the lawn, and done a load of laundry. I don't know, I don't know how you do it, and it's impressive and necessary, given my tendency to procrastinate. 
we did not do these together. Um, <laughs> you are always there for me when I need you. Even if I like to think I can do everything on my own. Throughout law school and studying for the bar exam, for example, you never, or almost never, <laughs> became frustrated with me. Even when our living room was filled with note, loose leaf notes and no flashcards for two weeks or two months at a time. <laughs> You put me in my education first, and I cannot under understate how vital that was to my success in law school and beyond. I'm gonna cry. You understand me and you love me despite fault. I can simply look at you and you know what is going on in my mind. And with all of this, you accept me and you love me for who I am. You are my world, you are my rock. You are my home. And I swear that you were gonna be the one to cry and it's me. Um, <laughs> we have been through good times and hard, but I know that I can always count on you to be the calm presence in the face of chaos, most of which chaos I probably created. <laughs> I love you and I hope that I can be everything for you that you are for me. Love you too, Ben. Duncan, you may now kiss your bride. Yes, Doug. Please join in the celebration. It is with great pleasure that I now present to you the new husband and wife. Better than all the rest. Better than any and I'm stuck on your heart I hang on every word you say Tear us apart Baby, I would rather be dead In your heart I see the start of every night and every day In your eyes I get lost, I get washed away Just as long as I'm here in your arms I can be in no better place you're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart Ladies and gentlemen Introducing to you Duncan White and Kelsey Lujan was to get married and have a family. The first time he proposed was to uh, the girl across the street. <laughs> and they were four at the time. <laughs> um, and then about a year later, he told a friend's mom that he planned on having three children, and their names were going to be Vera, Chuck, and Dave. <laughs> And I'm not going to explain that, but you can ask a Beatles fan. <laughs> it's really hard to fully express how proud Jim and I are of the man that Duncan has become. He's, he's not only smart and cool and competent, but he's a thoughtful, kind, compassionate human being, which I think is what every parent wishes. And over the years, we've also come to know and love Kelsey. And we've been very proud of all her accomplishments, and I think especially of her, her great heart. And uh, I, think, I think that I can speak for Kelsey's parents, as well as for Jim and I, when I say that we are all very eager to meet Vera, Chuck, and Dave. <laughs> They challenge each other and themselves, and they make it work. That's what's so special about these two. That's why it's an honor to be here today, and that is why I'm so thrilled to see them as wife and husband. Kelsey, Duncan, your marriage and your commitment to one another is an example to all of us, 
that I can't wait to watch for the rest of our lives. Thank you for having us all here today and letting us be a part of your story. Thank you, Ellen. From reenacting scenes from the Pirates of the Caribbean to graduating law school, I've watched you grow uh, so much and become a truly incredible and inspiring woman. And I know that Duncan has, uh, has and will be there with you to support and uplift you in so many ways. Thank you, Duncan. You're both successful in your own right, but together you're lucky in love and friendship. Uh, you have in each other a person that you know will always be by your side to support you. And you're lucky to have Winston and Tally too. So with that, I would like to invite everyone here to please raise a glass to Kelsey and Duncan. Kelsey and Duncan. Um, but before I conclude this long post, I want to take a moment and sincerely thank you both. Because not only for sharing this special day, but both of you for your friendship. I cannot describe in words right now what it means to me, but I hope you both feel it. Um, but with that, please help me with the toast of the bride and groom. To so Dr. Kelsey for sharing a love that no one else can hold the light to. So, years go by, right? And Kelsey gets mono 17 times. Who knew you could get mono for yourself? So Kelsey's fixing, crashing and burning academically. We went and saw the Mother Superior, right? We sang the song, you know, Adios, all of a problem, like Kelsey, and we did all that stuff. The one trap children were there. And then suddenly found, Kelsey found, I'm sorry, I, I have this part written down. Kelsey found her groove found her groove and hit it here we didn't even know she had and suddenly it's she's a success and suddenly she's going off to college and then she says I want to go to law school and I'm like what happened to the little British girl <laughs> this is awesome and then uh, their life has taken off like a rocket and I can't believe that I'm standing here right now and I'm in awe of, of both of you too uh, Jim and Marty you worked a miracle in Duncan and Duncan, you are clear evidence of just the wonderful environment in which you were raised. And I couldn't be happier to have you taking care of my daughter. And that's saying a lot. So I'm going to give these two words a shot. If anybody has seen Kelsey's tattoo, you know that it is grounded in uh, Judaism and in uh, her, her Irish heritage as well. So I will say, please raise a glass with me. I have never spoken these two words. I've never spoken these two words, never mind in front of a whole crowd of people, but I will say, Slancha and Lachaim. Oh, I could be the man Woo! who grows 
走。